So the gate opener lithium iron phosphate has survived yet another summer here in Las Vegas. And I checked out when I first got this battery and it was four years ago. And I'm really hoping that this year I caused more degradation because of its positioning in this corner. It's a south facing corner before I was protecting it. But this year we filled it in with concrete and it's completely exposed to the afternoon sun. And this battery's held at 100% state of charge the whole time. And this summer was ridiculously hot. Even at night, it was over 100 degrees Fahrenheit every single day for weeks. Also during winter, this does not have low temp charging protection. And this battery has the lowest quality cells, the lowest quality BMS, but I can't seem to kill it. It just keeps working. Now what's crazy is this battery wasn't even pulling full capacity when I first got it. And a year ago, it was pulling 94% of its rated capacity. So, so far the degradation has only been like 4%, but this time I think I really did it because it was so crazy hot for the whole summer and it was exposed to so much more heat. So I think we should be able to get some more degradation this time. Now last year it did not look like this. We did not have this UV degradation on the label or on the plastic and now it looks awful. So I'm really hoping this time we get some real degradation. Also has a voltmeter on the top and usually these are not sealed that well. And we had some flash flooding. So this was rained on. You can see there's rust on the terminals and yeah, it's just an awful shape. I really hope we did it. Before I was protecting it in a box. There was a solar panel on top of it. So it had lots of ambient heat, but nothing Nothing compared to what this has been exposed to. And this is running an inductive load. There's two motors that this is running every single time. And the battery is undersized. So I don't think we can make a better test than this for a lithium iron phosphate. It looks like we're fully charged. 4.8 amps. Right, we'll 4.8 amps is what I tested last time. 24 amp hours. And the test is now begun. Five hours later, we now have the results. We only pulled 19.5 amp hours, which is only 81% of the original rated capacity. I was getting worried after the last test that we wouldn't be able to degrade this thing, but we finally have some pretty good degradation. Now, previously this battery was shaded by a solar panel and it was in a milk crate. But now because it's in direct sunlight, it's made the degradation rate go through the roof. So hopefully next year we'll get it down to like 70 or even 60% of its original capacity. Because being in a hot environment but shaded was just not enough. Now even though we have a loss of capacity, we can still safely use this battery. So we're going to throw it outside for another year and see what happens. Oh, what? It says 11.9. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of this thing. So we're gonna add to this test with the same rate and it's on. So let's see what more we can milk out of this thing. Oh, there we go. And that did not last very long. So we got an additional 0.14 amp hours. And this is that afternoon sun I was telling you about. Even during winter, it's very warm over here. But if you shade it, it's not enough. You have to have direct sunlight to get this crazy degradation rate. We're just gonna run this thing until it dies. That will be a great video when the time comes. But what if I die before that time comes? <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh, there we go. So right now it's charging off of this solar panel. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.